Apple is expected to unveil a mini iPad at an event in California today. That isn't the only tablet coming this week, though. Dow Jones editor George Stahl is here with analysis. George, good morning. Good morning. So, mini iPad. Yes. What are we, we're expecting it? Mini, smaller and cheaper. Yeah. Do we, what, are, what do we know? What 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 can well, we expect? We obviously, with any Apple new product, we don't know anything specific yet. But there, but the rumors are that it will be smaller. It's going to be a little bit below eight inch screen. Right now, the iPad is a little bit below ten inches, uh, and and the price is still a variable, and it's going to be pretty intriguing. Uh, people with the guesses have anywhere between two fifty and three fifty. Especially relative to some of these other smaller tablets that are out there, the pricing on them varies a little bit. Right. I think we have a, a chart to show people that, that really kind of lays that out. Yeah, here we go. The Microsoft Surface, which is coming soon, that'll be a, a tablet not running an Intel chip, but an ARM chip will be 500 bucks. And that'll be a bigger screen. That'll be more comparable to the, to, to the to iPad that's iPad. on the market. But now. the Google, the Nexus 7, 7 inch, 199, and Kindle Fire HD, also I think 7 inch, may have been maybe a little bigger, is, is similar price. Right, um, and then you also have the, the Barnes & Noble Nook, which is cheaper than, than the, the other, than the ones from uh, Google and Amazon. So for Apple, I mean, the challenge here really is, I mean, is it, on the one hand, they risk cannibalization, right? Some people who might otherwise buy the larger, more profitable iPad might go for a cheaper iPad. On the other hand, they really kind of have to, to nip their competitors in the bud, right? Because they, they really own tablets at the high end. Exactly. But to the extent there are competitors, they seem to be getting traction, what little traction they're getting. It's happening in smaller form factor tablets. In the large tablet market, Apple dominates. Samsung hasn't been able to really encroach on that market with their Galaxy tablets. We'll see if Microsoft has any more success with its Surface Surface uh, tablet that comes out later this week. Where Apple is vulnerable, as you said, is in that sort of e-reader, smaller tablet market for people who want something that can fit in their pocket, fit in their bag more easily, and is priced at a level in that two to three hundred dollar range. So this is Apple's attempt to to fight off that. Right now, you know, Apple still has seventy percent of the tablet market, but again, where they are losing it is is in that smaller area. Does the surface have a chance. Will it, people buy it and why? It's, it, it, they're in a nasty catch-22 because you need to have a healthy app system to compete against uh, Apple. But you don't get apps, you don't get, you don't attract the developers to make apps for your product until you have users. So you have to get, so, so to get the apps, you have to get the users, but to get the users, you have to have the apps. It's a big challenge for, for Microsoft. True, and I guess th the one thing that, that may be interesting here in terms of apps for a Surface is they do have Office. So yes. to the extent that you have maybe, you know, folks who want to use their tablet for work, they want to use Microsoft Word, they want to use Excel, they want to do it on a tablet, then perhaps the Surface could have, it, it also has the keyboard, then perhaps it, it, it could carve out a small niche there. It's, it's that, that's traditionally been a Microsoft strength area with it being, being a leading product in the office and it's been a weak point for Apple. However, given the fact that Apple's had the iPad on the market for a couple of years, it's already made inroads in the office. So already Microsoft is, is, is starting from a, a position behind Apple already in the office, which is traditionally a stronger part for, for uh, Microsoft. Okay, much more on digits at two o'clock, so be sure to join us on WSJ Live for that. George, thanks so much Thank for joining you. us.